Hello, this is Suraj from uh, Automation Experts. Um, this is video number three for um, API testing with Python. Now, let's see how to. We have already uh, done with showing the data here. Now, let's see how to pass the data to uh, get different details from your API response. Okay, I'm just going to assign this JSON response to a variable here. I'm just going to say resp is equal to response dot JSON. Okay, I'm going to insert a breakpoint here. Um, import uh, IPDB. This is the IPython debugger. This will be helpful in uh, debugging via uh, terminal uh, command prompt. Uh, so that I can uh, this will, this statement right here is just a breakpoint. Um, this is just going to help me make uh, try to make some trial and error to see how to we can how we can pass the JSON response. Okay, I'm just going to run this in a uh, command prompt. Okay, I'm going to say Python and the file name here. I'm going to hit enter now. Okay, as you can see, it has printed out the response. Let's see what we want to pass first. What, what details we want to get out of this uh, information? JSON response. Okay, let's see. Uh, suppose I want to get this detail right here. Total number of pages. Let's see how we can do that. Uh, this is, as you can see, this is basically a dictionary. Your JSON response right here. So. It would be as simple as taking your data from your key value pair. Uh, um, how do you take a value from it by using a key in a dictionary? So, if I consider response as a dictionary, I can just say this of uh, what is the name of the key here total underscore pages. I'm going to say to total underscore pages. Yeah, this should give me the deal. as you can see, it has. Uh, given me the value of um, for that key. Let's say let's get more advanced here. Uh, let's see I want to get this first name right here. Let's see how we can do that. So this uh, this is corresponding to this key right here data. Uh, but uh, we can see that this is inside an array uh, JSON array basically as you can see that this square brackets. Okay, let's try to get that part. I'm going to say resp of data here. As you can see, it will give me that uh, array, a JSON array, or you can say here we can directly consider as a Python list here. So basically, this let's see how what is the length of this resp dot data. Yeah, this is uh, basically it has three items. Those are these payloads so basically one, two, and three. If I want to get the first first name, that is uh, Eve. Let's uh, see how I can do that. I'm going to say resp of data. I'm going to say yeah. Let's try doing just first underscore name. Yeah, that did not work. This because there's a JSON array here. So I need to mention the index first. So if I do a zero here, response data of zero first name, yeah, this will give me the value e. Suppose let's say, let's say I want to get all the first names from this uh, data as uh, in the in the format of a list, basically e, Charles, and Tracy, all these three names. We can make use of list comprehensions for that. Let's see what how I, we can do that. Uh, I'm going to say for um, say data uh, d. I'm going to call d for d in uh, response data response of data. This uh, response of data will be equal to this uh, response right here. So it will have three contents. Uh, 
when I iterate through that it will give me individually it will give me these three payloads basically I'm iterating through these payloads so I'm going to say D of uh, ID oh, here this should give me all the IDs yeah as you can see it has given me all the IDs suppose if I want to get the first name then I'm going to just say first name and a school name this will give me a list of all the first names that's all okay I can just put the same thing on the code and I can just make a run the code uh, from the from my PyCharm ID so I'm just going to just going to copy this and paste here uh, let's say first first underscore names and uh, yeah you can just uh, for now you can just print this first underscore names okay let me just try this from the id yeah as you can see we have successfully um, got all the first names so this is just an example how to just to how to pass the data this is uh, end of video 3 thanks for watching